Hey, this is Matthew Trigali with Better Who. And in this video, I want to talk about the three major uh, components of any small business and specifically of a property management company. Now, the one major component that everybody is keenly aware of is operations. Because with any business and any property management company, this is the biggest thing that we do. It's the most complicated thing we do. It's the most staff part of what we do. It's where a lot of the problems lie that are yelling at us every single day, fix this an emergency, so on and so forth. And so we talk a lot about the operations and how to structure, whether or not you want to be departmental or pods and so on and so forth. But it's actually only one third of what we do as a company. So when you start developing an org chart, a big mistake people make is they jump right into ops and that's all they get to. But you actually want to focus on three components at the top of an org chart. Finance, operations, and growth. And growth is usually actually broken down into two pieces, sales and marketing, that both are two sides of that coin that contribute to the growth of a company. So I really want you to think about that. Now on the finance side, this is mainly about the corporate accounting of a company not necessarily the trust accounting, although there are elements, elements of that may be worked on within the finance team. But the big part is actually the financial health of the company itself, the corporate accounting. And then on the growth side, of course, this is there's some talk about BDMs, or you may have marketing function or team, and there's many things that go into this, right? Sales, but also your website, SEO, Google My Business, reputation management, all these kind of contribute to growth. So I just want you to think about that when you think about those three things. And when you're building an org chart, the reality is you may not have anybody in your team right now that does anything with finance, but the reality is, is that still exists. So when you la are labeling an org chart, you don't want to simply label what is, you want to label what is needed and what you want. And so you have to label those seats, even if the seats are empty. So think about that, finance, ops, and sales and marketing. Now, the other thing I want to mention in this video is the role of what EOS calls an integrator. See, the big mistake, because we're so concerned about ops, is people talk about wanting an integrator on their team, but actually what they end up hiring is they want an ops director on their team. Now, sometimes you can have an integrator that is both your ops director and an integrator, but the true role of an integrator is actually to integrate those three functions of a company, finance, ops, and growth. You want somebody that's going to take that big picture view and make sure all of those things are working together. For example, where does sales end and onboarding, part of that onboarding process, where does sales end and ops start, right? And how do we make sure all this feeds into the financial health of a company? It's helpful to have somebody that kind of has that view of the organization. So I just wanted to share that as food for thought. The last piece I want to leave you with is as a business owner, I tend to think of a business owner being in one of three categories either the accountant, the engineer, or the salesperson, right? That accountant is somebody that usually is really good with finances and numbers, and they, and they have a good awareness of that. They're usually running a, a profitable organization because they're keeping an eye on that ball. Things are nice and tidy with their trust account recs, things like that. But they may not be that concerned with the operational workflows. And generally, they're not good at sales, right? Or you may have somebody that's the engineer this is great at building processes. They're great at operational efficiency, but they're not necessarily keeping an eye on the finances or, or really care a lot or are good at that. And usually that person is not good at sales. And then you have the salesperson. And this is somebody that's great at growing a company, but they really don't want to get into the details of finance or ops, and that's not their strong suit. And usually a business owner who oftentimes is the visionary, not usually the integrator, but the visionary is good at one of those three things. And it's really helpful to self-assess and realize which one of those things am I good at and where am I going to who's to build out the rest of my team? I need a who that can keep and basically be the CFO of my company. I need a who that can be the ops manager. And I especially need somebody that can integrate those things. And those can be internal. Sometimes they can be external. So I just want to share all that as you're thinking about org charts and as you're thinking about leadership and a leadership team for your company. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.